Today I'll teach you how to turn your simple hand-drawn images or sketches and turn them into comic book style so that you can bring it to life using only ChatGPT. This is great if you have a storyboard that you want to visualize before actually doing all the different animations. Or if you have a child, let's say, and they have a few sketches and you want to bring their sketches to life and visualize it for them. You can do all this for free using ChatGPT, even though there are some limitations. Okay, right now I'm going to separate my page into four different columns. I'm going to just introduce character. This is my boss. This is me. And my boss said my work is terrible. So I'm a bit sad. Finish. So alright. So after finish drawing this image, as you can see here, it's a really simple storyboard. Right now I'm just going to take a photo and then send it to ChatGPT. Go into ChatGPT.com. I'm currently using ChatGPT 4.0. I'm a Plus member, but you can also do it for free. Just there's a limited amount of times you can do it. In my experience, around four or five time images um, is the max for free users. So, but all you can do is just to upload your files, click on the Plus button and upload from computer. Okay, then you can see your uploaded sketch here. What I like to do first is ask ChatGPT to explain what the image is to see whether it actually understands. I'll just say, can you explain what the, is in the image? Just like that. All right, so as you can see, it says that it's a hand-drawn four panel comic strip that tells a short emotional story. And then you can see the panel one explains what it is, panel two, panel three, panel four, and so on. So read read whether it, is it correct. If it's not correct, you can change it, ask LGBT to modify it a bit. Okay, right now just paste in this prompt, create a comical story strip from the hand drawn image in whatever style that you want. Um so all the prompts will be in down in the description below. And then yeah, just simply upload it and wait around four to five minutes for it to create the image. You can definitely also specify the aspect ratio, whether you want a landscape or you want a vertical uh, comic strip. All right, so this is the image it created using 3D Pixar style, which honestly is pretty good. So if you click on it, you can see that the boss in the office says your work is terrible, low back tree. And then the partner says, welcome home. And once they hug, they, the, the battery is recharged. So it's pretty accurate and the animation style looks pretty good. And especially the hug part. I thought they will mess up the hug, but looks pretty good to me. And the characters are pretty consistent. So the beauty of AI to create images is that it all always creates slightly different images. So sometimes you need to just keep trying if that's not the result that you want. So what you can do is click on this select text and highlight the things that you want to remove. For example, I'm going to remove this office tag. So that's it. this is it. Remove only the office tags in the selection. So let's see what the output is. All right, as you can see, the office text has been removed, but it also removed the bubble, which, which is not what we wanted. All right, so as you can see, your work is terrible. Bubble text has been added and it is correct. It's by the boss. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you want more practical ways to use AI to boost your productivity and save time, make sure you subscribe for more videos. I'm JJ and I'll see you in the next video.